Antony Blinken, the US. Secretary of State said on Tuesday that Israel had real opportunities to strengthen ties with Arab nations as he sought to calm regional violence arising from the israel hamas war and encourage Israel to alleviate Palestinian suffering in order to improve relations with its Middle East neighbors. Mr. Blinken's comments in meetings with Israeli officials on Tuesday in Tel Aviv were a reference to his earlier assertion that Saudi Arabia and other countries remained interested in building normal diplomatic relations with Israel despite the destruction in Gaza and fears of a wider regional conflict. But Arab leaders insist Israel must end the Gaza war and work toward a Palestinian state. So I'm here uh, just over three months, 95 days since those attacks occurred. We know that for the people who are most affected by the attacks and the conflict that's followed, uh, time moves differently. And we believe Israel has achieved significant progress toward this fundamental objective. As Israel's campaign moves to a lower intensity phase in northern Gaza, and as the IDF scales down its forces there, we agreed today on a plan for the UN to carry out an assessment mission. Uh, it will determine what needs to be done to allow displaced Palestinians to return safely to homes in the north. A senior Saudi official made similar points on Tuesday, in the strongest signal since the October 7 Hamas attacks and the start of the war, that Riyadh remains open to talks of normalization, as long as Israel takes concrete steps that would benefit Palestinians. In an interview with the BBC, Prince Khalid bin Bandar bin Sultan, Saudi Arabia's ambassador to Britain, said that the kingdom's talks with the United States about normalization had revolved around an endpoint that included nothing less than an independent state of Palestine. 